Hi, I'm Christina and this is a book review of The Appeal by Janice Hallett. So this is a mystery novel and it's her debut novel. Now I absolutely love the concept behind this book and I love the format of the book itself too. I think it's very innovative and unlike anything I've ever read before. So the book is presented as a pack of evidence which has been given to two trainee lawyers, Femi and Charlotte, by their senior partner. You as the reader, like the trainee lawyers, do not know any background of the crime itself and you do not know anything about any of the people involved. And I just thought that was a really interesting way of presenting a mystery. It was definitely unlike anything I've ever read before. So we know that a crime has been committed and we know that somebody is in prison for that crime and we are now at the stage of the appeal. All of the people involved in this are also involved in an amateur dramatics group and they're putting on a play and we follow all of these people from the very beginning, from the first auditions, throughout the rehearsals, up until opening night. At the centre of this play are a family, the Haywoods. Now the Haywards are very wealthy, they're very well respected in the community and to be friends with them really solidifies your status in the social hierarchy. So in this family we have husband and wife, he is always the director of the play and she is always the leading lady and they have a son and daughter, both of which are married. The son has twins on the way and the daughter has a daughter of her own named Poppy. Now Poppy has been diagnosed with a very rare form of brain cancer and there are drugs in the US that could help. So all of their family, all of their friends, every single person in the play rallies around the Haywards to try and raise money for Poppy and so a cure for Poppy is born. So most of the people who have been cast in the play are lifelong friends of the Haywards, but there are some newcomers. We have a young nurse called Izzy, who was cast in a very small role in the previous play, and she also brings along two other nurses, husband and wife, Sam and Kel, who have recently returned back to the UK from volunteering over in Africa. And it's obviously a very tight-knit community here in the Amateur Dramatic Society. So you can definitely say that those three people are definitely newcomers and potentially are put under a cloud of suspicion from the off because they're not as high up in this very tight-knit social community that exists here. So you read all the correspondence back and forth between all of the members of the play, their emails, their text messages, all of the rehearsal dates and everything else that goes along with it, including their programme for the night too. And I thought that was a really great way of presenting this book. And I have to say, I think that's my absolute favourite thing about this book, the format of it. I thought it was very unique. I thought it was very innovative and it just, was such a fast read and I had such a good time with it. I thought it was really, really well done. I, yeah, I thought it was really, really good. So initially you're presented with all the evidence that was available at the first hearing and you do not know anything else so as to not cloud your judgment as this is really a training exercise for the trainee lawyers to come up with their own theories and ideas and really try and see the evidence and then pull out the most important things and just try and work out what has actually happened because there is a lot of information here there's a lot of everyday back and forth that is obviously irrelevant to the crime but also relevant in the sense that it exists and you need to be aware of it and then towards the end of the book you do find out the identity of the person who has been murdered and the identity of the person who is in prison for committing that crime and then you have so much more to really work with you know what is meant to have taken place and you're trying to work out if that is actually the case and I have to say I had lots and lots of theories along the way with this I thought it was a really fun ride I had lots of suspects for who the murderer was and I had lots of suspects for who I thought the victim was so I thought that was really very interesting and I liked that part of it that you can really get your teeth stuck in to this one and just trying to figure out what is actually happening and not only is there just a murder there is a lot of other things here to be uncovered there's lots of secrets to be uncovered and lots of lies and yeah there's a lot going on in here the extra stuff going on that you do need to unpick and I thought the dynamics here felt very very real 
they felt like a genuine group of people and I think that was because there's just so much going on here there's jealousy there's pettiness there's rumors and hatred and all of these emotions swirling around in this very tight-knit community and everything is kind of put under a magnifying lens because they're all wrapped up in this and there's just so much going on so yes I thought that was excellent and I thought the dynamics of the people felt very very real and um, some of the correspondence back and forth it was very rude it was very abrupt and yeah they're just they feel like real people in this situation <laughs> definitely I will just mention a couple of things that I wasn't as keen on. So the majority of this evidence is emails and I don't think that felt particularly natural. I think a lot of these conversations and communications are more likely to have been text messages and WhatsApp messages. So the back and forth with emails didn't feel completely natural. I think they should have been in another format, but that is a very small thing. And then a slightly bigger thing, I was a little bit disappointed with the ending. I think I just wanted a little bit more. I, yeah, I wanted a little bit more. It really had an excellent pace throughout the book. I thought it was a very fast read. And then towards the end, I thought maybe a little bit more time could have been spent just on that conclusion. But having said that, it did not stop my enjoyment of this book. I thought this was absolutely wonderful. It's a definite five star read for me. I would highly, highly recommend it. It's definitely not your typical mystery novel and I really love that for it. I think it's great to do something new, do something a bit more experimental. And actually it's one of the best mysteries I've read in a long time. And it's quite possibly one of the best mystery novels I've ever read. It's up there as an all time favorite, I think. So that's good apart from the ending a little bit but I was enjoying it so much up until then that I can't knock it down from a five stars because I thought it was really really good. So I'm definitely looking forward to reading her second novel. I know it's going to be called The Twyford Code and I actually looked on my library as soon as I finished this and as soon as I put it down I looked on my library to see if they have her second novel and they do, it's on order. So I put my reservation in straight away and I, I cannot wait to read her second novel. I think it's going to be excellent and I believe it's another kind of experimental format of a book. So very much looking forward to that. So thank you so much for watching. I would love to know your thoughts on this book if you've read it. Really interested to hear what you thought of this one. So thank you again. Please like the video if you liked it and please subscribe if you'd like to see more of me talking about books. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.